dear students in this lecture i am going to teach the first assignment of concrete technology which of the following is a feature of modern engineered concrete over conventional non engineered concrete so generally that is non engineered concrete and modern engineered concrete so non engineered concrete consist of coarse aggregate fine aggregate cement and water so along with this the modern engineered concrete will also consist of admixtures that is a small development of the society there are some materials developed to maintain water cement ratio to maintain workability of concrete to maintain the strength to maintain easy workability so for all these reasons the extra material that we are using in nowadays is admixtures so this is presence of admixtures so it is answer b for question number 1 Coming to question number two, which of the following statement is incorrect about plain cement concrete? So, plain cement concrete. Has lower life cycle cost. and it is mold ability and it can be designed for designed desired property designed for desired property and it will not show prior deformation as reinforced cement concrete before failure and it has low ductility that is it can break very easily so it has low life cycle it is a composite material it is a low tensile strength it has a tendency to show prior deformation that is it will not show prior deformation before failure so it is not the it is incorrect statement regarding plain cement concrete so answer c for question number 2 coming to question number 3 he has given four statements coming to first statement when clay minerals are heated to a temperature high temperature especially and cooled rapidly crystalline silica is formed that is when clay is heated at higher temperature and cooled rapidly silica is not formed silica is formed when slow cooling okay so this is a wrong statement coming to second statement c3s forms at higher temperature than c2s in rotary kiln during production of cement so generally there are four box compounds c3s c2s c3a C4AF, so it is called elite, belite, selite, felite. So this forms at higher temperature. This forms at lower temperature. So this is a correct statement. Coming to third statement, hydration of cement is endothermic. It is not endothermic. It is exothermic. So that is hydration of cement is process of liberation of heat so when heat is liberated the type of reaction is called exothermic not endothermic it is wrong coming to statement 4 raw meal of silica and clay is decarbonated in pre calciner by flash heating at 90 900 degree centigrade that is during process of manufacturing of cement both silica and clay are decarbonated by blast heating 
so this is a correct statement 2 and 4 are correct statements so answer d for question number 3 coming to question number 4 why is gypsum added to cement clinker during production of cement obviously the main purpose of addition of gypsum to the cement clinker is to increase setting time of cement to increase setting time of cement answer a for question number 4 coming to question number 5 arrange the following cement compounds c3s c2s c3a c4af in ascending order of heat of hydration so heat of hydration c3s c2s c3a c4af so it is joule per gram so c3s liberates 502 joule per gram c2s liberates 260 joule per gram c3a liberates 867 joule per gram and c4af liberates 419 so out of the given four compounds c2s will liberate very low heat then c4af and then c3s and then c3a so that is c3a liberates highest okay so answer d for question number 5 and the formula of ettering gate is answer b it is a direct question c5 as 3 bar h6 okay and coming to question number 7 he has given two statements cement compounds alite belite aluminate incorporate in water of crystallization so yes it is a correct statement alite belite aluminate incorporate of water of crystallization within their structure within their structure in order to fill the space left around cation so that is in order to fill the space the alite belite and aluminate compounds will incorporate into the water water of crystallization so this is a correct statement coming to second statement cement compounds alite belite aluminate have larger anions obviously alite belite aluminate have larger cations than and smaller anions so sorry larger anions this is a correct statement so both statement 1 and 2 are correct and is explanation so answer it is c for question number 7 coming to question number 8 and it is a formula so i have solved this you will get answer b coming to question number 9 which of the following compounds are responsible for rapid early strength and continued long term strength development in cement obviously there are four compounds in four box compounds in cement c3s c2s c3a c4a out of this the most heat liberated by c3a and c3s these are responsible for rapid early development of strength rapid early development of strength so because they liberate high heat so c3a and c3s so c3a and c3s so answer a for question number 9 and question number 10 again it is a problem so i am not explaining here i got the answer it is 7.14 thank you